Hello and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. In this video, we're going to go through stem cells for GCSE Biology. So first of all, what do we mean by a stem cell? These are undifferentiated cells which have the ability to continually replicate into the same type of cell, but can also differentiate, which means to become a specialised cell. Plants have stem cells. And these are found in the meristems, and that's what we call the actively growing parts of a plant. So, for example, the tips of the roots and the growing regions in the stem. They can differentiate into any plant cell throughout their entire life. In contrast, adults, we do have stem cells, but we find them in limited places, such as the bone marrow. And these bone marrow cells, which are stem cells, they can differentiate into different cells, but only a small number of different types of cells, um, which are the blood cells. Now, in humans and other animals, the most useful stem cells are embryonic stem cells. And these are found in very, very young embryos. So this is shortly after the sperm and egg fertilize, and you just have a group of cells. Now, those stem cells have the ability to grow and divide rapidly into any type of cell. So this just summarizes the three types of stem cells we said. You might want to pause and note this down. I'm just going to pick out some of the potential uses and the disadvantages. For plants, you could use these stem cells to make clones or cuttings. And this is a way of growing plants very, very quickly and cheaply because instead of planting seeds and waiting for them to grow, you can cut off a section of the plant and that will then grow the new cells needed, such as roots, to make a new plant. And this is really useful as a way to prevent the extinction of rare species or being able to create special crops that you're after. Adult stem cells, we said, can only differentiate into a small number of cells, for example, blood cells. Now, this can still be useful because it can be used to treat a range of blood diseases. But because these stem cells can only differentiate into blood cells, it is a small number of diseases that these adult stem cells can be used to treat. And also the mechanism behind how you do this can involve viruses. So that means you could transfer a viral infection as well. Embryonic stem cells, because they can differentiate into any type of cell, they could be used to treat a wide range of diseases because you would then allow the stem cell to differentiate into a particular specialized cell to replace faulty ones. For example, you could replace cells in the pancreas to treat diabetes and you could replace damaged neurons in the spine to treat paralysis. The downside though is in doing this, taking the stem cells from an embryo, it destroys the embryo, which involves lots of ethical and religious concerns. You would also have to make sure that the stem cells that you're using to treat a patient are identical to the stem cells from the embryo. And the only way this is possible is if you make a clone of your patient. And that is what we mean by therapeutic cloning. Now, therapeutic cloning doesn't mean that you then let the embryo go full term to birth and you create a mini me. That's not what therapeutic cloning is. It's when you just clone a patient to get an embryo, which you can then use the stem cells for to treat certain diseases. And the way this is done is we remove nucleus from the patient and we put that nucleus into an empty egg cell. And that is the equivalent of fertilization. So that clone which is now just our embryo, has identical DNA to the patient. The stem cells are then removed from that cloned embryo and they can then be treated with particular hormones and chemicals to say that the cells will differentiate into particular specialised cells. That can then be used to treat whatever the disease is and the patient's body won't reject those cells because they're a clone of their own. So this could be used to treat medical conditions like diabetes. Now, there are pros and cons of this idea of using embryonic stem cells. Some of the advantages we've said, you can use them to treat many diseases. You can grow lots of embryos in a lab. 
And in terms of the embryo, this is a completely painless technique for the embryo. The disadvantages are though, although it doesn't hurt the embryo, it will cause permanent harm or death of that embryo. The embryo can't give consent and also it might not even work. Stem cells have this property of replicating rapidly. So sometimes even when the stem cells are then put into the patient, it can replicate so much that it forms a tumor. So embryonic stem cells is not a perfect science at all. And you need to be aware of the pros and the cons of potentially using stem cells. I hope you found that helpful. If you have, please give this a thumbs up and look out for the next video.